Hi guys, it's me and Minnie here. We're going to have another rockin' awesome creative art project today. So today we're going to be celebrating space and our uh, theme for this week is outer space. So we're going to be making this really cool, like funny, silly alien today. But before we begin, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the word of the day, which is related to space a little bit. In Psalms 147.4, it says he counts the number of the stars. He calls them all by name. And I love that verse because I feel like if he counts all the numbers of the stars and he knows them all by name, how much more does he love and appreciate and find us even more important than the stars? So I just want to remind you today of how important you are to him and how much you shine in his eyes and how much he loves you. All right, let's get started. So you're gonna need a piece of paper and you're gonna also need a black sheet of paper, some oil pastels, a pencil, and a Sharpie. So grab your stuff and let's get started. Okay, we're gonna be talking about contrast where the background is very dark and contrast against the bright and colorful foreground. So things that are in the front are closer to your picture. The larger things in your picture are always called the foreground. That is the front of the picture. That's what I call front foreground so the kids can remember that it's towards the front of your picture. And then in the background is the back of your picture. There is a middle ground, but in this picture, we don't really have that. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna start with the alien. So go ahead and make like a U shape. And then come around. And it's okay if your head gets wonky. As you can see, mine is not completely symmetrical, but that's all right, because guess what? God didn't make us perfect. So our art is not going to be always perfect. And it's okay. I'm going to make the little antennas. Now, if you guys wanted to make all kinds of different things, you could give them like a crazy hat or like some kind of funny sunglasses or whatever else you would like to add to your crazy alien. You can. You could give him one eye instead of two. He's like a wonky creature. So you could just make it as silly, as imaginative as you would like. I'm gonna make my light catchers in there. Those are simply just your reflection lines. And they're gonna stay white. And then color the rest. And color it black. So there's your cutesy eyes. I'm gonna give him two little holes for his little nose. And then I'm gonna give him a crazy funny smile. So I'm gonna start over here. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble, bring it up and make another little short line. Now, if you want to give them an open mouth, it's really fun. You can make like a U shape right there and then a rainbow line. And then you can color this part in. And then, of course, that's a little tongue. So you can make that any color you would like your tongue to be. Gonna give him some personality or expression by giving him some fun. If you wanted to, you could give him eyelashes <laughs> to make him kind of girly looking. It's up to you. Okay, we are only making the top portion of the alien because the alien is hanging out in his lovely spaceship. So I'm going to make two little parallel lines there to make his little neck. And then close it off. stop right there. Now our spaceship is going to be kind of small because I realized that, that I probably should start up a little bit higher with my picture to give it a little bit more space for the bottom of my spaceship. But that's okay. I'm going to go like this, curve a line, kind of like a smile line. This is going to create the bottom shelf of my alien. Actually not my alien, my alien. And then I'm 
I would make my really cool like glass that goes all the way around my funny, silly alien. And then I'm gonna bring it out, bring it out. I'm actually gonna add a little piece of paper to the bottom to make it a little longer so you guys can see the finishing bottom part of the ship, okay? And you can do this at home and then when you are cutting it out, then you could glue it onto your paper that way and then it would fit. And you could have your crazy awesome space shuttle. I don't need a whole lot more space for the bottom, just a little bit. Close it, making a curved smiley line. Make a line, make a line, and close it. There we go, now we've got pretty much our space shuttle. And you're gonna add kind of fancy things. You could either add circles to make like lights down here. It's up to you what you wanna do to add your cool details of your space shuttle. You really could add whatever you want, like different shapes different lines, different patterns. And remember, all of those things are part of our, our elements of art. I got all kinds of circles on there. I guess those are my crazy little lights. And then I'm gonna actually create a little bit of a shadow here. This is called hatching. Cross hatching means you go cross over the lines. You do one line going one way and lines go in the other way and they crisscross over each other. But right now I'm just making hatching lines. I'm gonna do it up here too on his little neck. Maybe even some little lines up in here on his little head. You don't have to do these lines. I just like to do them because I feel like it just gives it a little bit more detail. Now, if you wanted his arm to come up, his crazy little arm to wave to you, you make two little parallel lines. And then I'm going to give him like some funny suction cup fingers. So I'm going to go V down V. See how that looks like a letter V right there and come over. And then I'm going to put little suction cups on the end of his little fingers. And he's waving hi, hello, to everyone. I'm even gonna make some little lines on my glass too. Okay, so there's my awesome alien picture. So now you would Sharpie it with your Sharpie and then you would get started coloring it. You can use crayons, you could use markers, you could use colored pencils, whatever you like to use. So I'm gonna fast forward the coloring. If you need to pause the video, you can to go ahead and color your awesome alien.
Okay guys, now it's time for the background. So we're gonna go ahead and make, you can make any kind of planets or stars or any kind of crazy awesome stuff that you think that you find in the universe out to in the awesome outer space. So I'm gonna just start with my oil pastels. Oil pastels show up the best on a black paper um, it's hard to do crayons, but you could totally use crayons. But as you can see, like with my oil pastel, it doesn't take much to color the stars. Now, if you use a crayon, I can show you the difference. The crayon you can still see, but it's a little bit lighter and you kind of have to push a little bit harder and you have to go a little bit, like take a few more seconds and do a little bit of, of going like that to make, apply more pressure to make your stars. But you can do it either way, because if you don't have oil pastels at home, obviously you can't use the oil pastels, and it still turns out amazing. So I'm gonna make like this little cool detail over here, making like a swirl. Coming back in with my oil pastel, adding some more little dots, kind of like using a Vincent Van Gogh look. Uh, Vincent Van Gogh is known for all of his little dotted short lines that he does. I'm going to make a comet. So I'm going to start like this. And then I'm going to just kind of make a line like that. And then color in the ends a little bit more like that. And then there's my little comet. And you can even, with oil pastels, it's really cool because you can like smudge your artwork and then it kind of gives it another look if you like that look. All right, I do kind of need to put my little alien here so I know where he's going to be fitting. And so I know I'm not gonna like put all my fancy outer space details and then they're just gonna get covered up. So I wanna make sure that I have enough space here to create around him without taking away from my awesome background that I'm making. So I'm gonna make this little dotted like movement line almost like it's um, been from way over here. So I'm gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then I'm just gonna dot, 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 dot again like a Vincent Van Gogh kind of swirl. So that's kind of fun doing his style of artwork. They actually have like this Vincent Van Gogh um, interactive experience in Tampa. I'm not really, actually, I'm not really sure if it's still there, but I know there was one in Miami at one time, one in Tampa at one time, 
and they look really cool. Uh, I've never been, but I've, some of my students have, and they're amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna make a star like this. Then I'm gonna cross through the middle, kinda looks like a plus sign. And then I'm gonna actually cross like an X through here, and it looks really cool. That's just one way you can do like a little star, or you could do a star um, like two. This is an A come down make a V and then you would color that in and it looks really cool too. Kind of like just to like shiny little thing. I don't know. I'm not a fan of those as much as I am of the um, other these kind. I feel like these kind really just pop and they kind of just stay in the background and they're not like too loud. Okay, so I'm gonna add some more stars here. You could add planets if you wanted to, like little round planets. You could add Saturn. I'm gonna show you how to do a Saturn one because I love doing the rings of Saturn. So I'm gonna just keep adding some more stars in here. The kids love to do it this way and it makes all kinds of noise in the art room. It's kind of fun to hear everybody going ba 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 So if you wanna do it that way, you can. Okay, so now I'm gonna make like a Saturn. I don't have a whole lot of space. I think I'm gonna throw it right over here down on the bottom. So I'm gonna do like this ball. Okay, then I'm gonna use orange and I'm gonna go like this. So I'm gonna come out, come out. Looks like I gave him arms and then curve it in front of it and around. I hope you guys can see that. I know it's not coming out very bright. So I'm not really digging how it's not coming out very bright there. Now you can kind of see it a little bit better. I'm going to go around my planet as well. So you can see it a little bit better. And then I'll come back in and color it in. different shades of colors and then blend them. I love oil pastels. They're so fun. It's not working. I'm just going to put a little bit more red. I mean, sorry, not red, white over it so I can see it a little bit better. Maybe even add some pink in there because it's a pop of lighter color. And there you go. You got a little Saturn planet somewhat right there. You can drop in some other planets if you wanted to in the distance, or you can not make so many stars like I did, and you could add um, bigger planets. It's totally up to you. Obviously, mine are not like the real planets. I'm not making them realistic. This is a make-believe imaginative artwork. All right, I'm gonna pop some more color in the other side over here. This one, I didn't do as many um, space elements in there. I didn't do as many details, I should say, uh, in the background. So it's really up to you how you want to create your background. All right, guys, I hope you had fun arting with me today and in mini. 
and I hope that you like doing a space project and maybe you'll figure out some more amazing things to, to add to your picture than I ever even imagined. And if you would like to, you can always take a picture of your crazy awesome artwork and email it to me and so I could post it to my future videos. All right guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.